Welcome back to another live and amplified livecast. I'm your host, Tom Quiet. We are here at day two of CMA Fest. We have our second Aussie on the podcast Ooh. here at CMA Fest. We have Andrew Swift. How's it going today, man? I'm good, man. Who was the first Aussie? Who was uh, it was Zoe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, yeah. We had her on yesterday. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, it, it's been a real international affair this year. So uh, look, she hasn't lived in Australia for a long time. So look, fair, I'm, fair. I'm the re- first real Aussie. Let's let's go fair. with that, shall okay. we? <laughs> fair, fair. It's it, it's a goal of mine to get over there. During the pandemic, I met a lot of Australian friends, and it was right around the right before the pandemic when y'all were having those uh, um, outback uh, brush fires. Right, oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we had uh, I, I usually do a, tour, a summer tour and yeah. during that period we we usually do um, a summer tour of, of holiday parks like with up along the coast because they're packed with people and two years in a row we had to cancel them one because of the fires and then because of the pandemic so yeah. it was uh, yeah pretty pretty hectic time yeah it was- and and I'm from Melbourne who are uh, I think we are still the world champions of lockdown so most really? amount of days oh, yeah. yeah fair yeah That's, uh, I mean. You guys didn't spend a day in lock or we so I including my hotel quarantine. Okay. Oh, sorry, my ho- I had to quarantine when I came back from America, uh, but it was before the hotel thing. Yeah. I think I had two hundred and seventy something days in lockdown. Oh damn. Yeah. Okay. Over over two years. Yeah. That's yeah. wild. We were. I I mean I guess lockdown is a not the right term, but we were about a year and a half where we were work remote and everything was like you can go, but be very careful that so, we couldn't go yeah. so we so we had really strict rules we uh i wasn't allowed to go more than uh three miles from home and i wasn't allowed to go outside for more than an hour a day and we That's, had we had curfew as well so uh, it, was, yeah. Okay. it was yeah a bit of a police state but we got through fair enough fair enough awesome so excited to have you here you've been in the states now for you said since friday since friday yeah and your body's still not not no no i feel much better today but yesterday when when i was showcasing yes i i feel i said i feel really disappointed because i was so tired i didn't really get to enjoy and the moment and it was like get through the set and then let's go relax and so chill out. What was were you finding that you were just having a lot of like energy dumps? Like you'd be okay and then you just like lose all your energy? Or? Yeah. Well, the first few days I was here, I was in a songwriting um, camp, so I yeah. feel like I was running on adrenaline for a few days, okay. and then sort of crashed. And then, but I was sleeping okay. But then the last couple of nights have just been. It just I got a second bout of yeah. jet lag, and I'm laying awake until like three, four in the morning. That's why you got to start taking sleep. melatonin or something. That's 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 the hot word that's going around. Yeah. Everyone's like, every time I say I can't sleep, people are like melatonin. Okay. Got to get melatonin. Honestly, the trick is because everybody gets mad. They're like, well, I I take it and then I just I I I don't know. It just doesn't work. I was like, you've only got to take it for like a week. Like like yeah. let your body get to it. Stop taking it after a week and you'll be fine. Like yeah, I took it about twelve years ago for I did it for like a week or two. Mm-hmm. And I've been able to go to sleep whenever I want ever yeah, since right. then. So it just, it's like you train your body. Yeah. Yeah. That's, might have to look into it. But then again, it wasn't just melatonin. I was using some other stuff. And it, was no, yeah. like, <laughs> it was just one of those things where I had never really trained myself how to go to sleep. Yeah. And then this was just kind of like, okay, now anytime I lay down, I can be asleep. And yeah. I, I think for like, the problem is uh, for, for me is that. I know, I, even though the phone's on silent, I know that everybody's working back home. Yeah. And I, I feel like I'm self-managed, so yeah. there's always a lot to do. And I feel like I haven't done anything this Fair. week. So um, as I start dozing off, I think, oh, i got to do this. i gotta, I got to remember yeah. to do this tomorrow. So that, that is a very interesting topic of conversation, especially for an internationally an international artist like you being in the States now. Yeah. And everything's still being back home in Australia. It's like yeah. your clock is completely backwards, and it's like I almost need to stay on Australian time, but that's not conducive to why I'm here. And yeah, it, it was really tempting to try and stay on Australian time this time too, because I'm only here for a, uh, a week. Yeah, and because I've got shows back home, yeah. like I land home on Tuesday, and I fly out 24 hours later for my next run of shows. So yeah. I get one night at home, Fair. but it's like hit the ground running. But, I mean, honestly, almost at this point, Australian time, if it wasn't for CMA Fest, if you were just, like, running shows and whatnot, yeah. it would almost work out perfectly. Like, if you think about it logistically. Yeah, like, I mean, you could just stay up all night having a 
grand old time, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, yeah, you basically are playing a show in the morning, but, yeah. you know, I mean. Yeah. Well, I, I think when I performed yesterday, it was like five in the morning back home. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's wild. Um, no, that's cool. So where are you kind of at right now with music and all that stuff? Are you writing, releasing, recording? Yeah, yeah writing at the moment. So I released two albums, uh, uh, sort of one came out during the, pan- the pandemic 2021 and then Im- I immediately started releasing singles for the next yeah. one and that came out last year. So I've, I'm taking my time a little bit with this next one so I can really, you know, take my time with the songs. I find that being, you know, self-managed and doing all that stuff, I'm spending a lot of time on the business side of it, booking shows, yeah. touring and the the for the writing falls behind a little bit this trip has been great i think i'm walking away with like six new songs oh, yeah. and we're already working on the next single back home so there's there's nice. i'm starting the next cycle and it's getting there but it's still still sourcing the right songs for it as well fair enough are you um are you recording at all while you're here or is it all are you doing that all back in australia funny thing is i'm recording while I, i'm technically recording while i'm here but it's back in australia so okay. My, my producer's working on some stuff. Uh, he knows I've got a hectic... Uh, this is my first time I've recorded, uh, you know, from afar, yeah. remotely, but it's just such a hectic time, so we're like, let's, let's give it a try. Yeah. And so he's, he's working on the, the foundations of the song, and when I get home, we'll get it finished. Completely understood. That's absolute... Yeah, that, that's crazy. It's, it's crazy that we can do that these yeah. days. Yeah, It really is. It 100% is. It's yeah. like... Uh, Wait, you want me to do what? Oh, that actually works now. Check, you know, like yeah. Especially during the pandemic, we were talking about the pandemic earlier. I couldn't tell you how many people from like around the world just wrote songs together because yeah, a they had to, and b you know we have the technology. So yeah, I wrote a ton of songs during uh, the lockdowns. Like that was the most amount of songs I think I'd written in in that period of time, and uh, it was the first time ever I'd gone into a studio with more songs than I needed for a project. So. Yeah. It was it was kind of fun to pick and choose, but then I felt like I was neglecting some other ones. Yeah, and true. but yeah, it's it, it but it changed the way we did a lot of things. Even when I'd previously recorded, we'd always done drums in studio. Yeah. These days, it's all remotely. We fly them in, and you know, my guitars are always done here in Nashville. That's cool. And we we fly them back. You know. Yeah. So it's it's crazy how it, it changed a lot of things for a lot of people. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It, that's wild. So um, when do you head back to? Australia, Sunday morning. Okay. Yeah, so, bright and early. So, so you're here strictly. And, well, it's not even a week then. Yeah, uh, well, I, I got in on a Friday, so okay, it's like yeah. eight, eight days, eight full okay, days, yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you got in last Friday. Last okay. Friday, yeah, right, yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Today's Friday, so I've been here a, a week. Tonight. I was like, wait yeah. a minute, I, I totally forgot today was Friday as well. I was like, so did I? I, I, I don't no even. Know. I barely know what month it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I just need to. I either need to fully commit to this life, and so in that way, I could just be like, "Yeah, okay, just tell me, tell me the important dates, and I'll be there." I f- yeah, I feel like it's uh, for, this is my first CMA fest, yeah, and it's been a hectic week in the lead up to it, and I feel like it's not a matter of knowing what day it is; it's just a matter of knowing where I need to be yeah. next, yeah. and, and the, the days don't play into it. It's just right. So tomorrow morning, I have to be here. Tomorrow afternoon, I have to be here, and then. The next day I have to be here, so yeah. it's yeah. And then that's where the phone comes into play, where it's like, okay, got to put the important dates. Okay, mom's birthday, dad's birthday, brothers, sisters, family, yeah. you know, like whatever family. It's like okay, so as long as you don't miss those important dates of anniversaries and birthdays, I think everything else will work out. I, I had my first kind of close call with that. Uh, so if things weren't hectic enough yeah. in the week leading up to me coming here, we we moved house. We just bought a house and we, we're moving nice. in. And my girlfriend's birth, we moved on the Monday, Tuesday, started unpacking and I was running around getting things ready for this trip. And my girlfriend's birthday was on the Thursday. Oh. And it was like 10 o'clock at night on Wednesday. And I said to her, just, I'm so sorry. I don't even have a card for you tomorrow. Like we knew we weren't going to do gifts. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I hadn't even got a card. I, was, I felt like the worst boyfriend. And she goes, it's fine. It's fine. We got a house. That's It's even better than a card. But we, we still had a great day. We, you know... It was. She's. She, I'm lucky. She's really cool, and she gets yeah. it. She gets it. We were running around. And it was crazy. That's always really good, especially is with the musician schedule and the lifestyle. It's kind of like, 
it's extra hard to kind of keep those. You got to try extra hard to keep those dates. That's so. it. And and she's she's uh, the first girlfriend that I think has really understood yeah. that and got yeah. it. And I think that's why it's it's going well. You know, yeah. we're four and a half years in. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So once you get back to Australia, is it just kicking it into high gear or it's... Yeah, so uh, I get uh, in the first uh, two weeks of being back, I think we've got eight shows. So it's two solid weeks of, of shows and then I can finally have a bit of a break and nice. and unpack some boxes for the Fair. new house, yeah. Unless uh, your girlfriend's already got them unpacked? No, nah, she uh, told me she wasn't going to. She, she, <laughs> she's gone back to college uh, and uh, she's got assignments due. She said, all right. I'm going to take time off unpacking to to study, and you can you can go to Nashville, and we'll just pick up where we left off when you get back. Fair. Where, so it works for me. I want to know yeah. where the forks are. You know, right? Like, yeah. Right. And it's like you let somebody else unpack your house, and it's like, hey, where's the where's the chainsaw? Or, you know, like whatever yeah. it is. It's like, and then you're like, really? You put it there? I wouldn't. I wouldn't have put it there. Right. You know? <laughs> and it's, it's like a whole other week of trying to figure out. Where the heck we put everything? Absolutely, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent, gotcha. Yeah. Um, where are you on a? When you get back to Australia, you said you got a whole slew of shows. Um, yeah. Is it like a tour, or are you just playing? You got a bunch of stuff booked. Uh, I feel like I'm always doing some sort of touring. Okay. Uh, I, I get to a lot of the smaller regional towns, not just the the major cities. So they're smaller shows, but uh, you know I love them and they're intimate. I play them acoustic or with a duo, yeah. and and they're all sort of. We've got a festival in the mix there, but I just released a song with uh, another artist back home called Amber Lawrence. Okay, and we we've got like five, four or five shows to promote that, as well as these yeah. other ones that I've got. So it's it's a bit of a mix of a. Like a tour for a reason, and just the to keep out being out there doing shows. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, outside of music, what do you like to get into? Man, it takes up a whole lot of my life. I just Fair. just got back into golf, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, it's a great way to ruin a nice walk. Um, yeah, but it's fun, you know, just going with a, a mate, and it's yeah. doing what I do is great as my work because occasionally I'll be like, uh, yeah, cool, it's a beautiful afternoon. <laughs> nice. I'll take a pause from doing the admin stuff. I'll yeah. come back later. Let's go play nine holes, you know. So. For sure. And so you're a full-time musician at this point? Yeah, yeah, nice. last six years. Uh, before that, I was fixing uh, mobile homes. So, nice. it's, uh, yeah, it's I much prefer this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Especially during the summertime, I bet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was, uh, that was some hot days, like working in a, a big shed, just, uh, yeah, yeah, sweating it out. But... The- got to do what you got to do it sometimes that's it and the great thing even winter doing that was terrible it was freezing yeah uh but doing what i do with the touring like i get i've just had an extra week of summer here while it's freezing back home and then the next week when i get home the shows are in north queensland so it's nice and warm again you know i i would almost say that working outside in the cold is worse than working outside in the heat yeah, because you can. There's almost nothing you can do to f- combat frostbite without going inside. Yeah, well, I, it was we used to do it in a yeah. big uninsulated yeah. tin shed, oh, right? yeah. which I think was worse because you wouldn't get that sunlight yeah. to heat you up. Either. And it's almost like a fridge at that point. Pretty you, much, yeah. It's, yeah. Whereas outside, you can try and cool off. You may not always cool off, but you can at least um, try and moderate your body temperature. Absolutely. A bit better, so absolutely. But no, that's awesome. Um, and so th- you get back home, you got shows and working on music and just kind of busy rest of the 2024. Yeah. It's yeah. 2024. What year are we in? Yeah. Don't worry about what day. What year yeah. is it? Uh, yeah. It's, it's a busy rest of the year. Uh, there's, I do have some t- weeks like where I've got some time at yeah. home, which would be really good to really adjust and settle in. But uh, there's a few big festivals coming up. We have nice. a big one called the Gimpy Music Master. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, which I'm very proud to be the ambassador th- this year. Nice. It's, it's a great festival. It's like a, a four-day festival out in the middle of a forest. Yeah. You, everybody camps out yeah. there, and it's a really good vibe, really nice. good lineup. Yeah. I've been uh, trying to come out um, to Australia, uh, mainly just to d- meet a lot of these people that I've talked to for so many years. Yeah. Uh, but then the question always comes, where am I going to go? It's like, do I go to Sydney? Do I go to Melbourne? Do I go to Brisbane? Do yeah. I go to... You know, Tamworth. I don't. You know, like I don't know, and it's everything's so spread out yeah. in Australia. It's like I'm gonna have to make three different trips. Just yep. to, <laughs> pretty much. Unless I want to take the train, and then I feel bad for all the people in Perth because it's like 
it's so far. Well, it's yeah. even further again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, if you're going to come, uh, if you come in our summer, your winter, yeah. if you want to get away from the cold, uh, come down in summer and, and come to the Tamworth Country Music yeah. Festival. We've got 10 days of country music in this yeah. little town. The whole town comes to life. Yeah. It's very quiet the rest of the year. Yeah. But that's only like a, it probably sounds like more, but we drive everywhere, but it's it's like a five-hour yeah. drive from Sydney. Yeah. You know, or and I mean, a, I'm not afraid flight. to drive, but it's just driving in a country that I'm not from. Other that, side of the road as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not so much, it's not so much that, because I think I get used to that pretty quickly, but it's like, I don't know, like all the, traditional like or unspoken rules and stuff like that and well you have a couple here that i really like yeah uh, like you've i mean the four ways that like your stop signs everybody stops yeah. and whoever gets there first gets to go first and it for the most part you're, you're in a you're in a vacuum that doesn't always happen yeah yeah but but for the most yeah for the most part like there's there's at least you're all stopped and at least you've you got time anyway yeah. the one that i really like is that you guys can turn right on a red light unless it's otherwise signed yeah so for us it'd be opposite it would be left and we need that so bad yeah. like it just makes so much sense that yeah. you've stopped it's safe just go yeah I mean just go you're yeah. good and even if it's marked nobody listens like yeah. just go <laughs> it don't matter I don't know that, see that was that's what would be, get me in trouble is like I would just go and then if there's a cop or whatever sitting there it'd be like yeah 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 yeah. shit yeah. sorry yeah. Um, well that's big, I'm an American like, stupid American over here sorry. I mean I've used the even the different states I've used as an, yeah. an excuse to get out of trouble before. Yeah. It, it can work. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Awesome. Uh, if anybody wants to check out your music and all that yeah. fun stuff, uh, where's the best place to find you? If you head to andrewswift.com.au, uh, the AU for Australia, obviously, yeah. uh, not Austin University. Uh, <laughs> and that's uh, that's got links to everything, music, merchandise, show dates, everything. Sick, yeah. sick, sick. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you. And uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and we will catch you all later. Thanks for having me.